Hey, how's it going? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. Millions of people in New South Wales were on high alert today because of catastrophic fire conditions. Many bushfires are still burning there and in Queensland, and hundreds of schools have had to close. It's been a terrible time for people here in New South Wales and Queensland. While many fires are still burning out of control in some areas, the danger has passed in others, and people have been allowed to return home and see the damage. We'll rebuild, won't we? Okay. We've been through all three of them now. Flood, cyclone, and now fire, finally. All in this house, yeah. It's been a big seven years. Firefighters are working around the clock, and reinforcements from other states and even New Zealand have arrived to help out. Back on the grounds, locals are caring for wildlife. Lots of animals have been killed or injured in the fires, and rescue centres have been swamped with critters in need of help. OK, maybe. It's a really scary time for heaps of Aussies, but authorities, firefighters and communities across the country are working together to try to keep each other safe. And if you're around here, it's important to keep up to date with all of the emergency warnings. So tune in to your local ABC radio for the latest info. It's already happened here in Australia, and now Instagram's hiding likes in the US too. And that's got celebrities divided. The head of Instagram says it's about taking the competition out of social media so that young people don't feel pressured to get more likes on their posts. Kim Kardashian agrees and says it'll be a good thing for people's mental health, but a few rappers and influencers are not so happy about it, and even Nicki Minaj says she's going to stop using the app. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. New Zealand's Bird of the Year has been announced. Never heard of that comp? Yeah, neither had we. It's run by a conservation group and the whole country gets involved in the vote. There are billboards and social media campaigns. And this year, the yellow-eyed penguin, or hoiho, was the winner. It's one of the rarest penguin species in the world and the hoiho team was super pumped with the win. Well, the results are in from our very first Kids Talk survey. More than 8,000 of you took part and now we're taking a look at what you said. Today, let's talk about screen time. <laughs> Screens are everywhere. It's hard to imagine life without them. And according to our Kids Talk results, over half of you are spending more than two hours a day on screens. But how's this? 16% of you say you're using your devices for more than five hours a day. I don't think it's too surprising because considering where we are in the 21st century, it, we have a lot of technology around us. That can be a problem, especially before bed. The exposure to the blue light of the screens will actually change the secretion of a hormone called melatonin, which affects when we, when we get sleepy, when we want to go to bed, it delays it. And so you're just more awake as a result of it. So what can you do to cut back? Well, Tim reckons the best thing to do is come up with a bedtime routine that doesn't include screens. It can be a hard balance at first, but we'll get there. Now to some stories that take what Mother Nature made and turn it into an abomination. Wow, that's a bit much. Anyway, these stories just aren't natural. What is that strange long-legged grey bird, you ask? Probably? Well, it's a flamingo. This little guy was found in Russia's north, one of the coldest places on the planet. So why isn't it pink? Well, flamingos are born with grey feathers, but they gradually turn pink from eating shrimp and algae, a diet this lost bird obviously couldn't find in the snow. Is that a pig in a hat with nail polish in an airport? Lilu, the therapy pig, isn't flying anywhere. She's here to cheer up passengers that are scared of flying. So Lilu is very well socialized. Uh, she's very used to people. The five-year-old pig is part of San Francisco Airport's new WAG brigade, and she's been hogging the spotlight since she got the job. It's just they've never seen a pig in the airport. And this definitely isn't natural. These mini robot cheetahs were created by mechanical engineers at a tech university in the US. They can trot, flip, hop, crouch, kind of play soccer, and take over the world one day. Well, hopefully not. 
Well, that's all the news for now. But before you go, we are celebrating our 200th episode of BTN Newsbreak. Yay! So thank you so much to you guys for watching. And please, if you haven't already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button down there just so you don't miss out on any more episodes after this 200th. Thanks again.